Imagine finding yourself on Titan, Saturn's moon, a world both fascinating and formidable in its alien environment. Known for its dense atmosphere, lakes of liquid methane and frigid temperatures, Titan poses a unique challenge to the very concept of survival. But what if, in a twist of fate, you face the ultimate test? Could you survive for just 13 seconds on this distant moon? This scenario pushes the boundaries of human endurance and space exploration, inviting us to explore the harsh realities of Titan's hostile atmosphere and the extreme conditions that would confront anyone daring to venture there. Let's delve into the gripping question. Could a human withstand the severe and immediate dangers of this alien world even if just for 13 seconds? Now setting off on an incredible journey, a voyage to Titan, Saturn's largest moon. This isn't just a hop, skip, and a jump away. We're talking about a monumental distance of up to 1.6 billion kilometers. To make this trek, our spacecraft has to be top-notch, outfitted with the latest in propulsion technology. Think nuclear thermal propulsion or ion drives. This is the real cutting-edge stuff. And let's not forget, we're venturing into the great unknown of space, so we need serious protection against cosmic and solar radiation. Now, this isn't going to be a quick trip. We could be talking years in space. Imagine floating out there with the Earth becoming a distant memory. We'll need to recycle everything. Air, water, and we might even get our green thumbs out, growing food in space. And to keep our bones and muscles in shape, we'll need some form of artificial gravity. Maybe we'll spin the spacecraft or use some other sci-fi technique. The astronauts, or should I call them cosmic adventurers, will be the best of the best. They'll need to know Titan inside out, be ready for any emergency and stay mentally strong. This mission is the ultimate test of human endurance and resilience. So why Titan? It's not just another rock floating in space. This moon is a goldmine for scientific research. It's got this wild organic chemistry going on, and we think it might even hold the secrets to the origins of life. We're talking lakes of liquid methane and ethane, crazy weather patterns, and a landscape like nothing on Earth. But it's not all about science. We're also pushing human boundaries, seeing how far we can go, and maybe even tapping into Titan's resources. Imagine using Titan's hydrocarbons for energy or manufacturing. The possibilities are endless. Landing on Titan is going to be like nothing we've ever done before. It's freezing cold and the atmosphere is thick. We'll need special habitats, probably heated, and suits that can handle the extreme conditions for when we step outside. And we might even get to play with some cool toys like drones or submarines to explore those alien seas. Communicating with Earth will be a whole new ball game. We're talking about a delay of over an hour each way. So our space travelers will need to be smart, independent, and ready to handle anything that comes their way. Staying alive and well out there is the real challenge. The life support systems have to be bulletproof and we've got to be ready for any emergency. And let's not forget, space can be lonely. Our crew will need to be tight-knit, supporting each other through thick and thin. Finally getting back home. This isn't a one-way trip. We've got to make sure everything's in tip-top shape for the return journey. Saturn's moon Titan. Picture this, a world so alien, yet it holds secrets that might unlock the mysteries of life itself. Titan, discovered way back in 1655 by the keen-eyed astronomer Christian Huygens, isn't just any moon. It's Saturn's largest moon and the second largest in our solar system, only outdone by Ganymede. Now here's where it gets wild. Titan has an atmosphere, and not just a thin veil like some moons. We're talking a thick, substantial blanket of gas, mainly nitrogen, with a dash of methane and hydrogen. This isn't your typical moon air. It's denser than Earth's atmosphere. Imagine standing on Titan's surface. You'd feel a pressure 1.5 times greater than what you feel at sea level on Earth. But hold on, it gets even crazier. The surface of Titan is like a freezer set to extreme temperatures plummet to about minus 179 degrees Celsius, minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. And yet in this frigid wasteland, you've got lakes and seas, not of water, but liquid methane and ethane. It's like Earth's water cycle, but with methane, methane clouds, methane rain, and maybe even ethane snow. This bizarre cycle carves out river valleys, lakes, and seas on Titan's surface. The landscape? Nothing short of spectacular. Picture vast dunes, sprawling plains, and towering mountain ranges, all made from water ice and hydrocarbon sands. The most massive sea, Kraken Mare, is a giant. It would dwarf the Great Lakes of North America. Now for the big question, could there be life? With its complex organic chemistry and those liquid seas, 
Titan might just be home to some form of life unlike anything we know on Earth. It's the perfect natural laboratory to study how life could arise in completely alien conditions. The Cassini-Huygens mission, a teamwork marvel by NASA, ESA, and ASI, really brought Titan into the spotlight. In 2005, the Huygens probe made a historic touchdown on Titan, giving us the first close-up look at an outer solar system body. It sent back precious data about Titan's surface and atmosphere, but it's not easy to see what's going on down there. Titan's atmosphere is shrouded in this thick haze, created by reactions in the upper atmosphere. This haze rains down, covering the surface in a layer of organic material. And just like Earth, Titan has its own seasons. It takes nearly 30 Earth years to orbit the Sun, bringing seasonal changes to its atmospheric composition and weather. The future. It's looking bright for Titan exploration. NASA's planning something out of a sci-fi movie, the Dragonfly mission. Imagine a drone-like rotorcraft buzzing around Titan, exploring different sites to understand its habitability and chemistry. Let's talk about being stranded on Titan. Imagine yourself in a place so alien it's like nothing you've ever experienced on Earth. First off, the air there is nothing like a breath of fresh air. It's mostly nitrogen with a mix of methane and hydrogen. A recipe for asphyxiation for us humans. So, taking a deep breath there, not a good idea and our regular breathing gear just wouldn't cut it in this environment, but wait, there's more. The pressure on Titan, it's about 1.45 times what we have on Earth. This means everything we bring from Earth, from suits to equipment, needs to be extra tough to handle this pressure. It's not your typical walk in the park. Now let's talk about the cold. It's not just chilly, it's incredibly cold on Titan. We're talking about temperatures that could turn you into an ice sculpture in no time. So, our spacesuits would need some serious upgrades like top-notch insulation and built-in heaters. And get this, the cold affects everything. Metals get brittle, lubricants freeze, and electronics might just give up. Everything we use there has to be designed to survive a Titan winter. Then there's the gravity. It's less than what we're used to. This means our muscles and bones would get a bit lazy over time. We'd need to keep fit. Maybe some space yoga or zero-gravity gym sessions. Moving around would feel different too. You'd be lighter, which sounds fun, but it's tricky, especially in a bulky suit. The landscape of Titan is like a scene from a sci-fi movie. There are massive dunes, ice rocks, and even lakes, but not your typical lakes. These are filled with liquid methane and ethane. Falling into one, that's a risk you don't want to take, as they're extremely cold and could react with your gear in unpredictable ways. Now imagine needing to call home. On Titan, you can't just pick up the phone and dial Earth. There's a huge delay in communication because of the distance, so in an emergency, you're on your own for a while. Now finally, you're stranded on Titan and suddenly your spacesuit helmet cracks. Now that's a scenario straight out of a sci-fi thriller, but let's break down what would really happen. First things first, you're in a world where the air is anything but breathable. It's mostly nitrogen with a good dose of methane and hydrogen, not the stuff our lungs are made for. So if your helmet cracks, you're in big trouble. You can't breathe in Titan's atmosphere and those gases, apart from being unbreathable, are toxic. Inhaling them would quickly make you dizzy and confused, and if you're exposed for even a few minutes, it could be lights out permanently. Now let's talk about the cold. It's not just your regular winter chill. It's a bone freezing minus 179 degrees Celsius out there. If your helmet cracks, the freezing cold of Titan will hit you like a ton of bricks. Any skin exposed to this extreme cold would start freezing instantaneously. We're talking serious frostbite in seconds, and your body's core temperature would start to drop dangerously, leading to hypothermia. But wait, there's more. The pressure on Titan is about 1.45 times that of Earth. So if your helmet cracks, you'd feel this sudden change in pressure. It's not as dramatic as the vacuum of space, but it's enough to cause some discomfort, maybe even pain, particularly in your ears and sinuses. It's like that feeling when you're diving deep underwater, but way more intense. Now let's say you've got about 13 seconds before things go really south. In the first few seconds, the lack of oxygen and the presence of toxic gases would start messing with your body. You might feel dizzy and disoriented right away. As you move into the middle of this 13 second window, you'd start to feel the full effects of oxygen deprivation. Your heart would race, you'd be gasping for air, and coordinating even the simplest movements would become a challenge. But it's in the final moments, as you approach the 13-second mark, that you might start losing consciousness due to the lack of oxygen. 
By then, frostbite would have set in on any exposed skin and your core body temperature would be dropping, though not quite to lethal levels yet. And let's not forget the psychological impact. Realizing you're exposed to the atmosphere of Titan would send a shockwave of panic through you. This kind of stress can really mess with your decision-making skills. Your body would pump adrenaline, which might help you act quickly, but it could also cloud your judgment. In short, being stranded on Titan with a cracked helmet, even for just 13 seconds, is a nightmare scenario. You're up against asphyxiation, toxic gases, extreme cold, and a whole host of physical and psychological challenges. Surviving unscathed, that's a long shot. It's a perilous situation where every second counts and the odds are stacked heavily against you.